<laughs> you giving her too much credit on this one i don't know maybe if you're giving so much credit is it the vendor eye is it the vendor eye that she is always talking about i don't know hey what? tommy welcome back to gossip cafe my name is k if you are new here welcome honey if you are returning savvy thank you so much for popping in sweetheart because your love and your presence is highly appreciated over here. You have seen the thumbnail and the title of this video. So, without further ado, let's unpack it. Where is she being, Serena? And who am I? That's not a secret I'll ever tell. You know you love me. XOXO. So we are talking about the notorious blogger Musa Kaula. He is also known for being the murderer. And also we are talking about Unoma Orange, my beautiful lady, um, U Owami Chubazwaro, and the scandal that went down. So guys, I wanted to cover all these stories, but yesterday I was in my zone. I wanted to take my time because on the 28th of November of this month that we are currently in was my birthday and I had some balls. So on the 29th, I said, okay, no, it's not working. I cannot do any videos. I'm just gonna wait and see when am I gonna take new videos. So today we are doing it and a lot of things happened. We have seen a lot of things happening. Hey, go busy, man. Come on for a talk, guys. Guys, yo, I go busy, Sana. So, Owami came for Musa. Jonga, she came super hard for Musa Kaula. She came super hard and she left no crumbs. If it was not Musa that we are talking about, the notorious Musa Kaula that we are talking about, I was going to say, whoever is Musa's friend should go and check up on him. But we are talking about Musa Kaula here. I mean, like we are talking about a murderer, like a real murderer over here. But anyway, so Owami, Owami Nechufazwaro decided to come for Musa Kaula. She came for Musa Kaula's studio she came for the chairs that the chairs were like a thousand rands she came for the flowers that the flowers are fake she came for the plastering of the house that the plastering was not done properly she came for the color oh the color she didn't come for it she said the color it, it looks good she came for the plumbing or that electric thing that is on the wall it's like, she said, it's like in the back room or something like that. <laughs> she came for everything. She came for the monitor. She came for that monitor. I know some of you out there love that monitor. She came for it. Kutinje, she ufre file, ufre file, kaka, kami riria musa. Eza nwele zgamo se zitri, owami decided to fre the floor, ufre file. Diti, if you've got that red stoop kokwenu, it would have been shining by now because of that, the three hair from Musa. Like, she frayed, yonke into a fray, sisters, she frayed. And coincidentally, Musa's videos are not visible. They are not there. But fortunately, they are still there. They are maybe on private, if I may say so. They are not, um, they are just for him. I think also when you've got a link, you can watch those videos, but I'm not sure because they are not unlisted. Definitely not unlisted. They are still on the channel but they are not unlisted because i've got a couple of videos on here that are unlisted so the view count is not showing from those videos so they are definitely available but not available for the public so they are still there but coincidentally happens just after Oami decided to come for omosa kaula <laughs> she also came for Musa kaula's delivery on how he abuses and bully people that he speak people that he sp he speaks about i'm not gonna lie yes 
that is true definitely musa is bullying a lot of people when he is delivering the message and um the hypocrisy behind it people like it when musa is doing it but other people don't really approve it okay or for example if someone else would talk the same way that musa is placing his words um when he is delivering other people will definitely be cancelled or whatever or sued or i don't know what but if musa is doing it no one cares like no one cares and everyone is happy that she is giving this gaga that i will dis i will definitely agree with her and i'm um, coming for makati's nose which makati also has a song saying that people must stop talking about her nose she knows that her nose is big and that's it so that is just uncalled for it is uncalled for but i would say guys guys especially to you who are entertainment channels entertainment bloggers can you be can you stop being naive like you guys are super naive i think when it comes to the videos that were taken down or the videos that are not visible on musa's channel i think musa is responsible for that i think musa did that on purpose because she because he knew that we are going to talk about him oh my god i am talking about him right now and i didn't want to talk about him but i am talking about him because obviously it's views it's everything as much as we are marketing his own platform we are also doing something for our own platforms he did that on purpose that's my saying i'm not saying i'm 100% sure but i'm saying he did that on purpose it is part of marketing he is doing marketing musa was friends with kuli roberts and kuli roberts was one of the marketing gurus kuli roberts knew what to say in order for you people to react social media was made for people to react okay and if you are a social media personnel or you are an influencer a blogger you should know where, where when to press what button so musa is pressing those buttons that you people that are watching videos are going to react and you people who are not naive who are naive as bloggers are going to talk and say uh, oh i did this oh i you you giving that woman credit too much credit <laughs> you giving her too much credit on this one i don't know maybe if you giving so much credit is it the vendor eye is it the vendor eye that she is always talking about i don't know what i know is i don't think she had anything to do with the videos I think Musa just took down the videos. She just want all the attention to himself and he, uh, she just um, he rather sorry, he just want to make sure that we talk about him and that will bring a lot of traction to his channel when he post again. I mean, he posted his his um intro introduction um video again. And people were going nuts because oh Musa is here, Musa is there, Musa is la 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 whatever. But um, yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with Owami. But let's go back to what I was talking about. Owami coming for Musa Kaula. Owami came for Musa Kaula's um, studio. Obviously, Musa said it will be something big and all of those things. <laughs> I don't know. But um, anyway, I think Musa's studio is fine the way it is. Um, I don't think you need a huge production for for YouTube. I mean, you need YouTube. You need to have content. You need to be able to give us content, and we need to love your content, your personality. We don't really care. I don't think a lot of people care about how your background looks, how your your camera quality looks, and all of those things. We just need your content. Yes, sometimes the sound needs to be proper, but your the quality of your camera or your lens i don't know and i don't think there is anything wrong with the quality of musa's lens or camera i think it is one of the best on youtube at the moment in south africa don't 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 come for me when i'm saying that i think it is the best one of the best and um it might not because it might not be because of the cheap camera it might be a lens it might be a a, a very cheap 
cheap lens or something like that i don't know but um, i don't think it is a cheap equipment i think the equipment that they are using is one of the best equipments that you can get in south africa or through within south africa youtubers okay and um she also talked about lights honey let me tell you let me explain to you about lights there's different types of how you design your lights how you 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 angle your lights for example if you can see the side of my eye is not that bright i've got three lights in front of me right now the other one is at the back the other one is in front and the other one is on the side i i also have the window open um i've got a reflect a big reflector over here to reflect the light that is coming from the window because there's no window on this side so that is how you design your light and someone else will want to design lights differently maybe sometimes you will have um dark shade on this side it's how you want it you want to create a dramatic um lighting design on your on your face you want to have shade on a certain point because you want your your face to be chiseled in a certain way just you creating a, a sometimes you want to create a warm um look on your youtube channel it's not because you are using cheap lighting and stuff like that i don't think lighting is important especially if you can use free lighting from heaven free lighting from heaven which is the sun i don't think that is that is um that is fun or i don't think it's something that she should have said on that video because it is discouraging a lot of youtubers i mean she was talking about how she was talking about encouraging the youtubers the upcoming youtubers and all of those things but if someone hears that oh you're using a cheap lighting you're using a cheap camera do you think those people will be encouraged to start a youtube channel the contradiction is annoying i love oami i love him i love her so much but um some of the things that she says they are just not on and also i'm not siding with musa don't get me started with musa because yes musa is very vile when it comes to reporting his stories yes we want this guy club, but she can um, but he can be very very vile which is not not right at all i mean don't come for conifics and ferguson don't come for 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 women like old especially older women in the situation whereby south africa is not safe for women women are still struggling to hold high ranking jobs and stuff like that it is still difficult for them to break through because of the stereotypic minds that we have in south africa so i'm not siding with musa and also i'm not siding with oami on how she produces her stuff as well i mean come for musa come for everything that he has come for his couch come for his three hair <laughs> come for, for 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 his shirt but um don't discourage other people because when you're talking about how cheap stuff are it is something different ah uh -uh. it is something different ntakaba ah uh ah -uh. so this video is long i'm i hope also t knows but but i'm not going to come for my long video that i've been preaching on my video but musa kaula must sort out his shit because obviously he is doing this on purpose the videos are there Uh, and I don't think anyone reported Musa Kaula's channel. I think he just does everything for attention, and he is definitely getting the attention and the uh, the traction on his channel. I mean, he was getting traction all, already. I don't think this is necessary. Maybe it was sub, it was going to be necessary when he drops. So then we ask questions and stuff like that. But for now, I don't think this whole drama is necessary. I think. He is doing very great already. So you YouTubers, stop being naive because this is part of the game. You create drama in order for people like Owami to talk about you, and then you come back, and then everybody is going to be excited and all of those things. It is fame most monster. It needs to be fed. I said it before. You need to fed the fame monster. You want to be an influencer. You need to fed to fed to feed the influencer space don't come for the camera i mean look at michali she is using one of the best clear quality cameras and um i'm not gonna lie michali is definitely not talented definitely not talented when it comes to makeup she is just beautiful she knows how to beat her face she knows how to grab the attention because she's beautiful she's light-skinned 
privileges all those are privileges but there's some something must give so the quality of what camera she's using it is giving and people love michelle in damas so it has nothing to do with how beautiful how big the lights are how expensive and all of those things it has to do with the personality and how people receive your content thank you so much for watching till this far i hope and pray you will subscribe if you are not subscribed and make sure that you hit that notification bell for all the notifications for new videos coming in and have a fantastic one i will see you on my next upload Mwah!